Scorpios, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be your May reading for um, your love and relationship. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, your cards are just flying out of the deck. I can't even talk with your cards, like, slipping out of the deck. So let me lower my camera here, and we're going to just jump in, Scorpio. Okay, because there's something that the universe wants you to know. They want you to know now. <laughs> All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Justice, and we have the Seven of Wands. I feel like you guys are... You're holding back from someone with the Seven of Wands energy, okay? So you're very guarded here. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. I see you getting justice in this situation. You have the Justice card here. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra, but I really feel like for the most of you, for most of you, this is about getting justice in this situation. We also have the Wheel of Fortune card here. Scorpio energy. Also, there is a change. There's a turning point coming to your um, connection. I feel like this is going to happen in the next week or so because we do have the Mercury retrograde coming in. Um, I believe it's from May 10th to June 2nd. I could be wrong on the start date. So you guys can um, look that up on Google if you like. But we have the Eight of Wands here. I see communication coming in from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person um, owes you an apology or they feel like they owe you an apology or they want to talk about something. Yep. They don't want this to be over with. The world card reverse. This person may have made you feel like this was over. Scorpio energy here. Okay. So maybe this person was pulling back, being distant and cold. And now they've been thinking about something and they want to come in and talk. <laughs> you cannot make this shit up. Like, listen, we have the Knight of Swords, the world reverse, and the Eight of Wands. This person's coming in. They're coming in fast. Okay. It could be an air sign for some of you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. But they're coming in. They feel like they owe you an apology. This person wants to talk. Page of stories. They've been watching you. They've been keeping their eye on you just to see what you're up to. Um, this person could be watching you on social media or otherwise. Okay. Also, some of you could be dealing with a younger air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this person, you may feel like they're immature sometimes. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know about this person and their situation? Yeah, look at that. Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. You and this person have been having some conflict here, but they want to make it right. There's a lot of love here. I feel like you and this person, um, you, you actually belong together. Like you see eye to eye with the Two of Cups, but I feel like there's something here that causes you guys to argue and pull back from each other. I'm picking up the energy of finances and third party energy. So for some of you, it could be a third party situation. And for others, it could be this person's finances. Maybe you guys argue over money. And then for others of you, I feel like you argue about a third party. You could know about this person and some of you may not. Maybe when this person pulls away from you, you may feel like there's a third party, but you ask them and they don't want to talk about it. I see soulmate energy here with this two of cups. You and this person... Um, it's like you guys have a fondness for each other. I feel like there's a lot of love. There's a lot of chemistry here. But when you guys are angry with each other and you pull away from each other, you find it hard to come back in. And I feel like that's because both of you like to stand your ground um, and you could be very stubborn towards each other. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know about their person in this situation? I feel like whatever conflict this is, you guys may be stuck in it right now, but I do see it ending here. I feel like you guys are going to remember how much love you have for each other, and this is going to make you and this person want to work this out. So maybe you could be dealing with the Pisces with that hangman energy, or your person is just stuck. They're stuck on trying to figure out how to move things forward. We have King of Swords energy. We also have Ten of Cups. So this person feels like you're their Ten of Cups. Also with this King of Swords energy, I feel like this person is very intellectual. It's like they look at things from, um, it's like they they look at things from a, a, how can I say this? <laughs> I'm all stuttering. It's like they see you guys' connection sometime from a logical standpoint. Um, so it's like sort of head over heart. 
is how they look at things. And I feel like you want them to tap more into their emotions. So I feel like you're more in, with your emotions and this person is more like a logical thinker. And you just want them to like, you know, let their emotions out sometime. I feel like this person hides how they feel. They hide what, what they're thinking. They don't tell you much, but you know that they love you. You do know it, but you're like, no, I want you to say it. You know, you should be able to tell me what you're feeling and what you're thinking. I feel like this person hides their feelings a lot. This is someone who's not used to talking about love, talking about feelings. Maybe the last connection they were in, they didn't. We have the nine of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's just always guarded, but they do love you and they just don't know how to show it. Scorpio and I feel like this is something that bothers you about the connection because you may show this person a lot of love and you're like okay I'm waiting for you to show it back and they don't so what messages do you have yeah seven of pentacles we also have the three of swords here and we have judgment so I feel like you guys are heartbroken over something this person said or did to you and you were making a decision to possibly walk away maybe you've expressed this to your person and now they're feeling like they need to just rush back in here and make this right yeah six of wands here I see success and victory and the ten of pentacles I feel like you and this person are going to wind up moving in together we have the ace of swords so this person wants a family with you if you're questioning this and you feel like you don't know, here it is. With the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands, I feel like this person's going to let you know that they're not going anywhere and that you guys will be together and you will have this family situation. It may be taking them a little longer. Maybe they're trying to work on their finances with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe they feel like you have a lot of success and they don't. But I feel like you're about to get clarity on how this person feels about you with this Ace of Swords energy. So what messages do you have for Scorpios? What messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know about their person and this situation? Yes, yeah, some of you could be dealing with the Leo. We have the Four of Cups and the Strength card. If you're dealing with a Leo, this person feels like if they give you up, they're going to have a missed opportunity. They're not even trying to do it, Scorpio. It's not going to happen. You and this person is going to remain together. I feel like you're taming the beast in them like they may hold back and they may try to um stand strong when you guys go through something but it's like you get them to open up and come back and see things your way look at this little girl <laughs> it's like she's kissing this lion okay so what messages what messages do you have what messages do you have for scorpio what do they need to know about their person in this situation yeah, the magician. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. We also have, um, did I say some of you could be dealing with the Leo? Yeah, I think I said that. Okay, I wasn't sure if I did or not. But with the Four of Cups, we also have water energy here as well. Another Scorpio, such as yourself, or Cancer, or Pisces, you could be dealing with. And then we have the Gemini energy here. The Gemini energy. Magician, manifesting. I feel like someone is manifesting you guys to come back together. They're doing a lot of thinking. They're trying to figure out how to do it. Um, They know what they need to do. But like I said, I feel like this person is like they find it so hard to open up. Okay. And it could be because of things that happened in past relationships, maybe um childhood wounds, maybe when they were younger, Um, you know, people that were around them, like their mother, their father, or whoever they live with, didn't show a lot of love in their family. So this person's not sure how to do that, but they want this with you. So they, they do want this connection. Yeah, we have the chariot, cancer energy. I see you guys moving forward, two of swords. Yeah, this person is like, you could tell with the two of swords how they're like, okay, so how should I come in? How should I talk to Scorpio? I don't wanna seem mushy. This is not how I usually am. I'm gonna have to open up and, you know, become very emotional in order for them to let me back in or to see where I'm coming from. So I see forward movement here with this, with you and this person and with the two of swords energy, I see them coming, trying to fix something. That two of swords energy is um trying to figure out because I feel like this person is at a stalemate position right now. And you see, oh, 
I didn't want these birds to fall. Sorry about that. And you see this person has a blindfold on where they can't really see what's coming. So I feel like you don't see this person coming in sort of wanting to make a decision or wanting to open up to you about something. But I do see forward movement here. Just in case you guys are questioning what this person's intentions are. I see their intentions are to come back towards you and make something right. If they haven't come in yet already, Scorpio, just expect to hear from them. Yeah, the Empress, because this is how they see you. And we have the Hermit. So they're holding back from the Empress. And they know that you're not going to continue to wait on them. The Empress waits on no one. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or a Virgo. All right, so let's get some message cards for you guys, Scorpio. And let's see what else the universe has to say about your person and your situation. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do they need to know about their situation? What is their person feeling and thinking? I'm trying to tell you, okay? Told you. <laughs> Working it out. Working things out. A final effort to save the love. Trying to rekindle the spark. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do Scorpios need to know about their person and the situation? Fear. Fears blocking connection. Scared to take a leap of faith. Losing sleep due to fears. So this person is not even sleeping good at night. But they're making you think that they're not worried or that they don't care. All right. So we have the heart leads. Following their heart. Choosing to be happy. No longer hiding their feelings. I told you this person is not going to hide their feelings. You know why? Because they feel like if they hide their feelings that you're going to walk away or it's like you're going to turn your back towards them and they're not going to be able to start this over or fix the situation, whatever you guys are going through. So they're used to holding back, but they're not going to do it anymore. I feel like this person sees that it's not getting them anywhere anyway. Like them holding back from you, I feel like they know it's making the situation worse instead of um, better. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? yeah okay so we have the inquirer you are their number one dominating you are their number one dominating the situation your person is choosing you okay so if this person has you in a third party situation they're choosing you for those of you that know about it so what messages do you have for scorpios yeah, see, this person is hot and cold sometimes. We have on and off relationships, sending mixed signals, don't know what they want. And we also have long journey. It's going to take a while, many ups and downs, lessons to learn. I feel like you're knowing that you may not get a commitment out of this person right away, but they're not going to let you walk away, though. They're not going to let, they're not going to give up on this connection, Scorpio. They're just not. They don't even feel like it's a wise idea. Yeah, we have faded love life partner soulmate this love will help you grow instant deep connection and you have the two of cups here twice okay because you have the two of cups and the tarot cards and now you have the two of cups and the oracle deck so what messages do you have what messages do you have for scorpio what do they need to know about their person and the situation All right, so we have walking away, leaving someone behind, ending a love triangle, tired of the emotional mess. This person sees you as possibly walking away, and I feel like this is why this card came out. They're fearing it, but they don't want you to know. This person doesn't want you to know that they're afraid that you're going to leave them, okay? Um, they may be sitting in their pride and their ego, and they're not wanting to tell you. What messages do you have for Scorpios and their person? What do they need to know about the situation? All right, so we have children. Children affecting love life. Wants to build a family, possible pregnancy. So there could be children involved. This person may have someone pregnant and they're not telling you about it. Or maybe someone is telling them they're pregnant and they're really not. But they're trying to keep your person with them. And there also could be staying with someone because they have children with them, but there is not a lot of love or love at all in that connection. Yeah, you're waiting for this person to come back around. They're regretting something that they did 
We have waiting, waiting for their return, their call, waiting for them to love you back, trying to be hopeful. And then we also have your person being in deep regret, deeply regret their actions, feel guilty for cheating, trying not to hurt anyone. So we're going to get some message cards and see what this person wants to tell you if they would open up and talk and wouldn't be holding back on their feelings. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpios? What do the person want them to know? What would their person tell them if they was more open with them and not holding back on their feelings? What would Scorpios person tell them if they were more open with them and not holding back on their feelings? Spirit, what would Scorpios person tell them if they were not holding back and they were more open with their feelings? What does Scorpio person want them to know? Your person is so stubborn. <laughs> we have, I constantly think about the sexual chemistry we have, and I always want you. These cards are sticking. I'm sorry. I can't get the card. I'm like, wait, I can't even get the card out. I'm sorry I cheated on you. Honestly, you mean the world to me, and I don't even know why I did it. I'm sorry, please accept my apology. We have, I love it when you wear your glasses and put your hair in a messy bun. It looks good on you. I love how you kiss me. It turns me on so much. And then we have soulmates. You and this person, love will last a lifetime. All right, so let's shuffle and get a couple more spirit. What does Scorpio's person want them to know? If they weren't being stubborn and they weren't to be open about their feelings, what does Scorpio's person want them to know? Okay, so this is for someone who's in a third party situation and you know about the person having a third party. We have, when I have sex with them, I'm thinking about you. You are addicted to them as they are to you. Neither one of you can leave each other alone. We have, no matter what things look like now, you will end up with this person. You have a future together. They don't turn me on like you do. You always look sexy. I love the way you dress. And we have, you always smell so good when I hug you. Your perfume or cologne makes me horny. I constantly look at your pics on social media when we're not speaking. It brings me comfort to see your face. And we're going to get one more. You don't have to chase this person. They will always come back to you. They're your twin flame. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Scorpio. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.